Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you some examples or explain, explain the YAML code for CRDs. So the first of all, uh, just to refresh your memory, I made a video earlier where I created a CRD using exactly this YAML uh, in, that's already available in Kubernetes.io documentation, but I didn't explain the little details that are in the YAML. So the, to refresh your memory, um, a CRD is basically a resource that you create, resource type that you create, that is your own. For example, by default, Kubernetes comes with maybe 20, 30 or so default type of resources like pods and deployments and secrets and config maps and maps and whatnot, right? But what if you wanted a resource type that is your, that is custom defined by you? That's what CRD is. CRD is custom resource definitions. So um, to do this, you have to use this kind of YAML. So um, first of all, the kind here is self-explanatory because it is a custom resource definition. In, in a normal um, resource, you'd, you'd be, this would be replaced by like pod or deployment and whatnot, right? Now the next line here is name in the metadata section. Now this has to match what's in the group. So I'm gonna, comp comp so basically this, this tells you, first of all, the name of the CRD and the and and the and the website or the domain or the company that's coming from. For example, in this example from Argo CD, they were defining a CRD um, call applications, and here you will see the group is argoproj.io, and the CRD is application. Those those two components make up that part, right? So that's that uh, versions. You can have multiple version, only one can be active at any given time, obviously, uh, but in this case, it, it is version one. Serve true means, if, if you have multiple YAMLs are defining multiple versions of your CID, you, have, you, you, you can only have one that serve true, means means that's the version that you can that can be used at any point to create an object of this kind, right? Um, storage, storage means basically, you, you should not be having multiple, copies of the same object coming out of the different versions of whatnot in etcd you should only keep one version of that object for example if i have a pod named foo that foo pod should not be existing in etcd in multiple version that makes no sense that's why storage means what goes on the etcd and only one version of that particular object should be in the etc database if you will uh, schema type of it's almost always this. This is the schema type people use for for almost everything this day. So that's the that's basically default values right now. Under this is where the beef comes in. This is the actual definitions of things that will make up the CRD. For example, in this case, you have its properties. Uh, just like in 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 you have in um, in a pod, you have spec, right? And the specs have all kinds of item attributes that you can use. In this case, in this under spec, you have type, you have cron spec and image and whatnot, right? These are the thing. These this is what makes up the CRD. So if you look at Argo CD applications, you will see it is intense. It, it, this is a real thing in, uh, used by thousands of people and companies in real life. is extremely flexible. Uh, in in which and because of this, under um, properties you have all of this business api version kind metadata operations property is just it's intense very very detailed very versatile flexible configuration of that's an application in argo cd that's why that's so complex but in this particular case in kubernetes and documentation we're using a very simple cron tab one and that's why the specs are somewhat limited but this is where you would define your cid for real the next uh, um, I, um, attribute is scope. Basically, you can have a, um, let's say a pod, right? A pod can be namespaced or cluster-based. So any resource type can be, can it, can either be scoped into a namescape, a, names, a namespace only or cluster-wide, right? Uh, so you define, you, you make that choice here. So if you're in your resource type should be, if, if I can have a, um, a a resource, sorry, an, an object named foo of this kind in two different places, namespace A and namespace B, then you, this would be namespaced. If it if only one can exist in the whole cluster, then it will be clustered. 
Uh, now these are pretty simple things here. You know how you, you know how you have pod. You can also call them pods, or you can also in short name you can you can call PO. So those things, those plural and singular names are defined here. And if you, if you want to have a short name, in this case CT, you can define it here. So I hope this video was useful to you. Basically, how different attributes of the CRD definitions are um, are explained in this video. Uh, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. That helps me with the YouTube's algorithm. And I will see you in the next Kubernetes video.